Hello and welcome back to the Road to Good Cooking. The summer is upon us and it's starting to get warm here in Las Vegas. So I am starting the first part of my ice cream series and the first one I'm making today is banana pudding ice cream. Who doesn't love banana pudding ice cream? You want to see how I made it? The first thing I did, I took the freezer bowl and I put it in the freezer for overnight and it needs to stay in there for at least 24 hours. And when I took it out the next day to make sure that it was completely frozen, I picked it up and shook it and I didn't hear the liquids moving around so I knew that the cooling liquid was completely frozen. And here's my ingredients. I'm using mini vanilla wafers, two really ripe bananas, and I'm using some half and half and some heavy cream. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm sheltering in like I'm supposed to and everybody knows pandemic calories don't count. And here is my sugar, my granulate sugar, and some pure vanilla extract. Now, I've made this recipe four times before. And the first time I made it with low-fat milk, and it was okay. The second time I made it with whole milk, and it was okay. The third time I made it with almond milk, and it was pretty tasty, but just okay. The fourth time I decided to try half and half. Yes, I know it is full of calories. Don't judge. We're right in the middle of a pandemic. I'm shut in <laughs> and, and pandemic pounds don't count. <laughs> all right, now if you don't have a handheld mixer, just use a wire whisk and make sure that all your ingredients are well incorporated. I'm going to cover the mixture with plastic wrap and from here it's going into the refrigerator for two hours. The next few steps are going to be self-explanatory, so sit back and enjoy. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. sound right boy here I'm scraping the ice cream off of the mixing arm and I'm going to be packing it in quart containers this recipe makes two quarts of ice cream and look at all this goodness on my spatula oh my mm -mm -mm. I'm preparing my station here's my quart containers 
And here's my finished ice cream, which I can't keep my spoon out of. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pack it in there. There's my diced bananas. Um, I'm going to layer it. So I'll put a layer of ice cream. And then I'm going to put a layer of bananas. And then a layer of the uh, mini vanilla wafers. And I'll just continue that until I fill up both containers. You're going to love this recipe. It is super, super delicious. Now, wait till you see what I make next time. I think I'm going to make either cookies and cream with Oreo cookies, or I'm going to use some homemade chocolate chip cookies. You tell me what you would like to see next. The cookies and cream with Oreo cookies or cookies and cream with homemade chocolate chip cookies. Either way, it's going to be good. I don't know about you guys, but I remember back in the day how it took so long to make ice cream. My mom made ice cream all the time, and it seemed like it took forever. Nowadays, with all the new gadgets and the ice cream makers out there, I tell you what, it is the easiest thing to do. And in the summertime, when I'm ordering my groceries on Instacart, it used to bug me to no end to get my ice cream in it, and it was like milk basically by the time they got it here so um this way this summer i'm going to be ready my i'm not going to be eating any more melted ice cream and i'm going to make the flavors that i like to make and wait till you see some of the adult ice cream that i've been making Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> all i can say is yum <laughs> Okay, my ice cream are packed in the quarts and they are ready to go in the freezer. And just so you know, I'm not being greedy. One of these quart, quarts are for me and one is for my sister and brother-in-law and they loved it. And in the freezer they go. And on top of my ice cream, I put the ice cream bowl back in the freezer because the very next day I made another batch of ice cream. And um, no, I didn't eat that one. I gave that one to my neighbors. <laughs> and after you make the ice cream, it's totally okay. If you want to eat it while it's soft, if you like soft serve ice cream, go right ahead. Um, I put mine in the freezer and I left it there overnight because I like my ice cream just a little bit firmer. And here is my ice cream the next day that I had for breakfast, uh, breakfast, that I had for dessert. <laughs> yes, I did. I had, I had some for breakfast with my coffee. I'm not going to lie. I'll fess up. But this ice cream is super, super good. And it would be a fun project to make with the kids. And, you know, get everybody involved. Make you some good old homemade ice cream and the flavors that you love. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And leave me a comment if you wish. Um, and share my link with everyone you know in the universe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be blessed, stay safe, and keep on cooking.